Hey everybody! Okay, so this part of the video is to um, demystify some of the math. I don't want this class to have um, applications lost in the calculations, which is what often happens in math classes. You get so busily solving equations and knocking through things that you kind of forget why you were doing the math in the first place. So I wanted to introduce you to your Excel calculator for the first time today. So go ahead and fire up a a web browser, I would uh, definitely recommend using Firefox. Firefox seems to be um, the best, the one that works the best with my web page. Uh, and then get to my web page, okay, which gets you to here, okay. And then you want to just go to your course information link like you always do. And then we've been using in class or out of class the schedule and the resources pages a little bit. We're going to jump down to this Excel calculator right now. This is going to we're going to be using a little bit in the beginning, mostly in the beginning of class. Towards the middle and end of class, I'm actually going to have you all going into Excel and doing other stuff in Excel. But for now, this, this calculator helps us out. So when it asks you to open it, go ahead and open it. it takes a couple seconds. It's an 8 uh, megabyte Excel file, which does take a little bit of time for it to load. It's, it's downloading and thinking about it. Oop. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought to think about it. Huh. Let's click it again and see what happens. <laughs> okay, now I might get two of them open now. That's okay. I'll just close one of them. Uh, so there, there she is now. Now this is going to look crazy busy right now, and you have to realize something. Okay, it's it is an Excel spreadsheet that I have built for all of my math classes, not just 105, but also 243 and also 244. So I'm going to walk you through it so you understand kind of a lot of it you can ignore. Uh, first thing, this little button that says enable content, go ahead and, and click that to enable it. Um, that's just Microsoft being very, very, very uh, neurotic. Okay, so in Excel, you don't have to worry about what most of the stuff looks like right now, but in Excel, there are these things called worksheets. Each one of these things you see is a worksheet here. And you see these little colored rectangles down here? These are called tabs or sheet dividers or something like that. And you can click on those and they'll actually change worksheets as you go. Now here's the good news for you right now if these red ones are, are making you kind of upset. Those are 244 tabs, which you do not need. So we're gonna skip, we're gonna go to the left of these. These little arrows right down here, those little arrows right down there will take you to the left. And then they change to green. Green, that's a lovely color. Those are actually 243 tabs. Those are Math 243 tabs. Some of this stuff we'll learn in, in Math 105 as well. But if you keep going left, you'll hit the blue tabs. And the blue tabs are the ones for Math 105. And in particular, in particular, the one we want to use is Grade, the very first tab in the entire spreadsheet. Okay, that's the one I want to show you how to use today. So what I want to show you is this is a nice calculator that actually does all the grade calculations for you in case that little bit of Pythagoras we just looked at kind of freaked you out a little bit. So I want to show you how to use it. So here are the instructions. They're fairly straightforward right here. It wants you to insert the rise. You have to put the rise of your, of your road in. And then either the run or the road into these boxes right here. The rest of this stuff over here will populate as soon as you do that. So check this out. We'll do the example that we did on the chalkboard in the previous video. If that, that first road had a rise of three feet and it had a run of four feet, and we are going to delete the road value over here, okay? So it had a rise of three. All I did to change those numbers, I'm going to back up and show you this again in case you've never used Excel before. I just left click in the cell that has 400 and simply type three and that overrides the number that was in there and puts the three there. I then left click in the run and put four, and then I left click in the road and hit the delete button. So with a road with a rise of three and a run of four has a right way grade of 75. Now hopefully that makes perfect sense because that's, first of all, three divided by four is 0.75, which is 75%. Notice how wrong way grade is left blank because there's absolutely no reason to calculate this the wrong way. If you've got the rise and the run, the only reason people use the wrong way calculation is if they have the rise in the road, which we'll do here momentarily. We'll actually get back to this momentarily. So it also gives you the angle that would be formed down here. And I gave this, I call this thing the, the cheesy title of True View Grade Visualizer. That's a trademark, please. Every time you use it, you owe me a nickel. 
Uh, but the other, it's not perfect yet. And I said for angles above 45 degrees, it's slightly wonky. Um, this is below 45 degrees, so we're okay. Uh, that's approximately what 36.87 degrees should look like. So that's that bad boy right there. Now the one we did in on the video next had a rise, if I remember correctly, of five. We did not have the run, but we had the road, which I believe was 13. And when you enter all those bad boys in, hopefully you see some numbers that look similar to what we did uh, in the calculations we did on the board. The wrong way grade was simply taking 5 divided by 13, and it's 38%, or 0.38. The right way grade, we did this by solving for what G6 was. And we I've got Excel set up to do just that in the right way grade. It actually does the calculation for you. It calculates what G6 would need to be. So, or what the, uh, what the run would have to be. Now, I've done those calculations if you're interested, and I hope you are always interested in the spreadsheets that I make because I designed these for you all to kind of move around. You can grab this and move it around and all the calculations that are happening are happening back here. So I encourage you, if you want, you can actually dive into these spreadsheets and move things around and look around and see. Um, if you're ever interested, just look in any cell that a number appears in and then look up in the formula bar and you can kind of look at where I'm, I'm referencing. Um, you don't have to know about that right now. Um, the only thing you need to know to run this sheet is how to plug numbers into the rise, the run, and the, and the road. That's all you have to worry about, really. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. I mean, this is how this sheet works. And what I'll do is I'll show you on the next video how to put this to work for a couple applications that I've actually looked at in in my own uh, in my own in my own life and, and conversations with my family and stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to run this sheet. The rest of these tabs we'll get to eventually, but this is the only one that kind of makes sense right now. So it gives you a right way and a wrong way grade calculation if you have a rise and a road. If you only have the rise and the run, you don't have the road. It'll just give you the right way grade. Uh, because the right way grade is the only one that makes sense if you have what you need. Alrighty? Okay, cool. So that's that. Let me come back in the next video and show you how to kind of apply this thing to some applications. Because that's the fun. The fun stuff is, is actually looking at real data and seeing how this stuff works. Alright, catch you in a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean the next video. <laughs>